Greetings, everybody. My name is David. On behalf of Spriggan Firm Batoni, welcome to another episode of Lockdown, a charity quiz. Well, you're not locked down, but the Sprig is, unfortunately, so we're still doing it this way for a while. I'm sure that all your bubbles are burst and you're hanging out with friends and family, so make sure you've all got some pens and paper ready because we're about to do some quizzing. Before we get into the quiz, let's quickly check out some more feedback that we've had. Uh, this is from Susan. Uh, we love the quiz. Thanks so much for doing it each week. No problem, Susan. Uh, now that we are under level two, will you be getting a haircut? Well, actually, Susan, uh, I got a haircut yesterday by Terence at the Hairy Barber. Um, although I don't call it a haircut, I call it an HMA. It's a hut mullet accentuation. Uh, a real treat for myself. Thanks for sending that in, though. Um, what do we have? And from Callum, he says, uh, Hey, Mr. Quizmaster, I have a question for you to test your sports knowledge. Oh, cheers, Callum. This will be good. Back on the 10th of May 2019, the Hurricanes played the Blues. What was the final score? Oh. <laughs> um, well, Callum, you know I'm a big fan of rugby. Um, I'm pretty sure... Uh, no, well, rugby was the winner on the day, from memory. Um, it was a game of two halves, um, and there were definitely oranges at half time. Um, from my memory, um, yeah, the score was 22-12. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm pretty confident about that. Mm, I'd, like that I'd like that in as an answer. Hopefully that's right. I'm sure it is. Well, that's enough for our feedback. Let's get into round one, general knowledge. Question number one, to get things underway. The tasty and delicious... Flavour Enhancer 621, also known as MSG. What does MSG stand for? The Tasty Flavour Enhancer 621, also known as MSG. What does MSG stand for? To question number two. What is the name of the Greek dish which consists of yogurt, cucumber, garlic and mint? What is the name of the Greek dish that consists of yogurt, cucumber, garlic, and mint? Question number three. What is the name of the famous revolutionary who became president of South Africa after being in jail for 18 years? What is the name of the famous revolutionary who became president of South Africa after being in jail for 18 years? Question number four. What letter is located between the letters X and V on a standard typing keyboard? What letter is located between the letters X and V on a standard typing keyboard? Question five. The opera singer known as Bianca Castafore is a fictional character from which comic series? The opera singer, known by the name of Bianca Castafore, is a fictional character from which comic book series? Moving now to question six. Who is the author of the famous 1843 novella called A Christmas Carol? Who is the author of the famous 1843 novella called A Christmas Carol. Question number seven. Many of us have been using PPE to help ensure that we don't get sick. What does PPE stand for? Many of us have been using PPE in order not to get sick. What does PPE stand for? On to question number eight. What is the name of an angle that has less than 90 degrees? What is the name of an angle that has less than 90 degrees? To question nine, and it's our first multi-choice question of the quiz. What is the collective noun for a group of flamingos? Is it A, a stand? B, a flamboyance, or C, a regiment? What is the collective noun 
for a group of flamingos? Is it A, a stand, B, a flamboyance, or C, a regiment? Question 10 to finish off our general knowledge round. What is the Italian name for the pasta, which literally means little twine? What is the Italian name for the pasta, which literally means little twine? Before we move on to our next round, a reminder that the Sprig Quiz is a charity quiz. And this month we're supporting Big Brothers Big Sisters. They're all about connecting little people with bigger people in a mentor capacity. They have treats for us. There are two things that you need to do. One, please check out the description of the video below and make a donation to them as an organisation. That will be truly appreciated and a great way to show our support for them. Secondly, at the end of the quiz and once you've checked out your final score, take a picture of your answer sheet and your final score. Post that in a comment on the Sprig Facebook page related with the quiz. And they're going to choose at random a bunch of people that do that uh, and send some treats their way. Mm. Treats, wonder what they're going to be. Anyway, please make a donation to Big Brothers Big Sisters. Get a photo of your answer sheet and post that in the Facebook page and some treats could be coming your way. Let's get into our next round, which is our Picature Round. Under level two, we've all been out and about shopping, back into retail, spending all that money that we saved up during lockdown. Well, we're still trying to figure out how much things cost again. This Picture Round is called The Price is Right. You're going to see an image of an item, and on that will be three options of prices. You have to choose which price is right. Let's go. Okay, coconut man, moon heads, and pee. You ready? Seems like everybody's got a price. I wonder how they sleep at night. When the sale comes first and the truth comes second, just stop for a minute and smile. Why is everybody so serious? Acting so damn mysterious. Got shades on your eyes and your heels so high that you can't even have Good time. Everybody look to the left. Everybody look to the right. Can you feel that? Yeah, we're paying with love tonight. It's not about the money, money, money. We don't need your money, money, money. We just want to make the world dance. Forget about the price tag. Ain't about the oh, to change, to change. Ain't about the yeah. therapy. What a wonderful thing. Let's move to our next round, which is our mystery round. And today it's all about wise sayings. Having a big brother or a big sister, they're really good for teaching you things, life lessons, and giving you wise sayings to ponder. I'm ever grateful for my older brothers and the wise sayings they taught me that enabled me to tease my sisters better. Yes, life-changing. Well, I'm going to read out a series of wise sayings, but the first half. And your job is to write down the other half of the wise saying. And hopefully they match up. So, wise saying number one. We'll start with something easy. Out of sight. Out of sight. Wise saying number two, a crown's no cure, 
a crowns, no cure. Why saying number three? A new broom sweeps clean, but a new broom sweeps clean, but Why saying number four? You have to take the bitter. You have to take the bitter. Why saying number five? The squeaky wheel. The squeaky wheel. Why saying number six? You can't make an omelet. You can't make an omelet. Why saying number seven? A chain is only as strong. A chain is only as strong. Why saying number eight? A broken clock. A broken clock. Why saying number nine for all you builders out there? Measure twice. Measure twice. And the last wise saying of the round, you catch more flies with honey. You catch more flies with honey. Hopefully you're feeling much wiser after that round. To our final round then, our music round. Well, schools have reopened this week. Our precious children have headed back outside and back into the classroom. Some of us will be relieved, some of us will miss our precious children during that time. Regardless, here are 10 songs, all themed about children or school time. You have to name the artist or the band for half a point, and the name of the song for half a point. Hit it, DJ. Remember the days of the old schoolyard used to laugh a lot. Oh, don't you remember the days of the old school yard? My child arrived just the other day. He came to the world in the usual way. But there were planes to catch and bills to pay. He learned to walk while I was away. And he Come a long way, we're changing day to day. But tell me, where do the children play? When some loud bragger tries to put me down and says this school is great, I tell him right away, now what's the matter, buddy? Ain't you heard of my school? It's number one in the state Doctor placed you in my arms. I knew I'd meet death before I let you meet harm. Although questions arose in my mind, would I be man enough against wrong? Choose right and be standing up. It's not time to make a change. Just relax, take it easy. You're still young, that's your fault. 
There's so much you have to know I'm taking my time, but I don't know where Goodbye to Rose and the Queen of Corona See me and Julio down by the schoolyard See me and Julio down by the schoolyard Ah, some wonderful tunes there. Hey, so truly all the best to our children and our schools who are back operational this week. And don't forget, take a photo of your final score on your score sheet today. Check out the video description below. Find the link for the Sprig and Fern Facebook post. Share your answer sheet score on that link. And yeah, we're going to send out some treats, some goodies, some prizes to those who do that. I'm looking forward to that. I might even do it myself. I could do it with a treat. But that's a wrap for today's quiz. Hey, on behalf of the Sprig and Fern Batoni, thanks so much for tuning in and joining in with this quiz. Please, please check out the video description below for the link on how you can make a donation to Brick Brothers Big Sisters. Please show your support to them. But for now, my name's David, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week for more quiz action. So for question two, what is the name of the Greek dish which could... Ian, do you mind? Sorry. Well, let's give it a go. Um, how to write a quiz when you have run out of ideas. All right, what have we got? Hmm. Oh, that could be good. Oh, no, I won't do that. Hmm. And here we have a beer tap in its natural environment. A truly remarkable device, known to produce a liquid that when humans consume it, can produce true joy and utter chaos. Is that, is it on now? Wait, oh, you can hear that. Oh, good. I'm oh, sorry about that. It's funny, my dad always told me it works better when you're turned on. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're good? Okay. All right. Back to it. Oh, Ted. Well, here's this week's feedback. If you can uh, go through it and sort it and get it on my desk by tomorrow morning, it'll be great. Cheers, mate. Thanks. <laughs>